Hello, my people. I believe we have prayed enough. It is now time for us to act, for us to put those our prayers into action. We have prayed enough. Even God can testify that we have prayed enough. Yeah. St. James chapter 2, verse 26, we tell you that prayer without good works is dead. So when we pray, we should have the end point, and that end point is what? Action. So prayer will go with action. You pray and act. That is why you pray for God to give you customers in your business. You pray for God to give you money. And at the same time, you work towards getting money, towards getting customers. So these two things will always work together. So concerning our brother, Mr. Peter B, he has said it. You will as well hear it from him. So he has said that we cannot pursue this paper out of the seat with only prayer. Some persons will be there praying, eh, we want Peter B to be the next president of Nigeria, but they do not have PVC. If you should go to church and then ask God to take away these ancestors from the seat, God will listen to you and then be waiting for you to act, to do your own part. Doing your own part is getting your PVC and then on the day of the general election, you step out of your house, go to the polling unit and do what? Cast your vote. So you pray to God over what you want him to do for you and now you act so that those two things will come together and give what? A result. Let's listen to our brother, Mr. Peter. The church has to know that we've passed the eighth time of praying. It's not going to be solved by praying alone. It has to be solved by acting. If you like, pray with disciple for the rest of your life. They'll never go away. You must chase them away. So they're not people you remove by prayers. So it is time to act. Not to pray. The youth, unfortunately, for we the leaders, what you've seen today, the banditry you've seen today was created by us. Because it is the people we didn't educate yesterday that is not chasing us out of our houses. Today you have a demography you're talking because they're not productive. That is why your country is collapsing. Put money in this. We have youth that have talent, energy, willing that can change the world. All they need is leadership to invest in them. It is time for them to take back their country and chase all of us out. If they do that, so what pastor is doing today is what the churches need to do. You don't know how Marcos left office in Philippines. Marcos left office because on a Sunday, Cardinal Sin finished church service. Instead of saying, the mass is landed, let's go. He told everybody today, follow me and block the presidential lodge. After three days, Marcos and his wife left. It is time for us to close the church and deal with discipline. 